Our host doctors today are Dr. Sarah A. Barbacabodil and Dr. Napoleon Interior Jr. Hi everyone! Welcome to Doctors on TV! I'm Dr. Sarah Barbacabodil or Doc Sarah and of course, makakasama po ulit natin ang ating paboritong guest co-host today. Walang iba po ang uh, true public servant ng uh, 4th District of Nueva Ecija, Dr. Nap Interior. Hi Dr. Nap, welcome back! Hi, Dr. Sarah. Again po, maraming maraming salamat sa UMTV and sa Doctors on TV for having me here as your guest co-host. At syempre po, a good day to everyone po, not here in the Philippines also, but also to the whole world po na nanonood po sa atin ngayon. Yun lamang po. Yes, tama yan, Doc Nap. No? Babatiin natin ang ating mga viewers ng good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depende kung kailan nila bubuksan ang kanilang mga social media accounts. And of course, um, before we proceed to our discussion proper, gusto lamang natin imbitahan ang ating mga viewers to please like our FB page, Doctors on TV, and uh, makishare na rin po nitong ating FB Live para po tayo ay makatulong sa iba sa pamamagitan po ng uh, pagbabahagi ng informasyong pangkalusugan. And also, you may post your comments and questions po, no? At yan po ay susubukan natin uh, ipasagot sa ating guest expert, Mia Mia po lamang. And ako, Doc Nap, I'm sure maraming makakarelate no, dito sa aking katanungan. No? Sino po ba sa inyo ang tumaba dahil sa quarantine? Ako, ang daming guilty dyan. Hindi na ako lalayo, no? Ayan, dati kasi, di ba, malaya tayong nakakapag-jog outdoors or nakakapag-workout sa gym. Pero ngayon, nako bukod nga sa limitado na ang galaw natin ay medyo napapanalas na din ang kain natin dahil kalimitan na yung nasa bahay nga lamang tayo. Di ba, Dok Nap? Nako. Doktor, speaking of... Uh... Konti na lang yung paggalaw. Ang iba nga raw, ang tanging exercise na lang ay yung pupukas ng refrigerator at pagtataas ng mga kubiertos nila. That's why in this episode, pag-uusapan natin kung paano natin mamimaintain ng active lifestyle para lagi tayong in shape. Exercise is a critical health habit that can prevent and help treat many chronic diseases. Both the healthy and the sick need to stay physically active in order to improve their quality of life and lifespan. How can we do this properly and regularly under the new normal? Let's learn from our guest expert. Our guest physician today is Dr. Josefina May Angeline M. Ongchuan, also fondly called Dr. Mel Lane. Dr. Mel Lane is a rehabilitation medicine and sports medicine expert. She currently holds clinic at the Healthway Medical Clinic both in EDSA Shangri-La Plaza and the Block SM City North EDSA, Fatima University and Medical Center and the Philippine Orthopedic Center. Welcome to Doctors on TV, Dr. Josefina May Angeline M. Ongchuan. Of course, we're very glad to have with us Dr. Milene Ong Xuan. Hi, Dr. Milene. Welcome to Doctors on TV. Hello. Good day to Dr. Snap and Dr. Sarah and to all yes. of your viewers, your regular Ayan. viewers, most especially. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Nat pinaunlo kanyo po ang aming invitasyon. Ako, marami po ang excited. Thank you for the uh, invitation. Yeah. I should be the one to say and, of course, thank you. And it's our pleasure to have you here, of course. And marami po ang excited makinig sa ating magiging talakayan ngayong araw dahil, nako, ang dami po talaga nga makakarelate dito. Ano? Ito, unang katanungan nga po ng, uh, ng karamihan, paano po ba makakaiwas sa sedentary lifestyle ngayong hindi naman natin maiwasan dahil very limited po talaga ang movement ng karamihan dahil nga po sa quarantine, doktora? Ang sagot ko dyan, simple lang, tumayo lagi. Huwag laging nakadikit ang kwet sa upuan. Dapat oh, laging diba? tumatayo. Na... Yeah, simple lang. <laughs> Kasi yeah, asin pa lang. Yeah. Yeah. Sedentary. <laughs> pa Paano mo alisin yung sedentary sa buhay mo? Napakasimple. Tumayo sa higaan, tumayo sa upuan, at umikot-ikot sa bahay. Ah, so, doktora, paano naman po yung mga naka-work from home na talagang palaging nakadikit sa upuan? Gawa ng siyempre, they work po uh, online, you know. Siyempre, it's hard naman din po na, you know, to keep them na laging nakatayo and to be moving po around the house when they're supposed to be online po and uh, to have their work done. Wala ko ang solusyon to dyan sa lahat ng pasyente ko. Kailangan may alarm clock sila. Every 30 minutes, tutun talaga yung alarm clock at signal na yun na tatayo sila, gagalaw sila. All you need is 20 seconds. Mabigat po ba yun? Every 30 minutes, tutunog yung alarm clock, sumayaw ka, tumalun ka, aminom ka ng tubig, umikot ka sa table, sa, sa chair mo, 20 seconds, at balik na ulit sa trabaho. 
Oo, oh, napakadali nga naman yung dog nap. <laughs> Kasama sa 30 minutes yung paglalaba, pagpaplancha, lahat nung, let's say, nag-gardening ka, dapat may alarm clock ka na rin every 30 minutes, maguhuy mo yung position mo. Oh, so, dapat, Dok, talagang uh, yung movement natin, dire-diretso, ganun po, ano? So, Dok, ngayon kasi parang, syempre, nasa ECQ tayo, yung mga fitness, uh, uh, avid, yung mga avid sa fitness, gusto nila sanang pumunta ng gym, kaso wala namang way. Um, would you recommend po yung mga online fitness programs na nagpo-provide po, like sa Zoom po, yung mga different uh, social media platforms po? Oh, yes! Take advantage while it's still for free. Diba? Kasi pag nawala na yung mga online platforms na for free, di gagastos ka naman, magbabayad ka na naman. Kasi it's a way of motivation. Pag wala kang sinusundan, hindi mo alam kung tama. Lalo na yung nakakatapad mag-numbering, diba? With the app, may number na yon Tapos magkakaroon siya ng, uh, magpa-prop siya sa'yo kung tapos na yung number mo, hindi ka na magbibilang. Ayun na mention niyo about nakatayo, you know, basically tumatayo from uh, regularly and then of course yung hobbies nila ngayon so they just need to keep that uh, keep doing those things and then that would really help in for them not to build up some weight po no po tama Simple lang. Ang lagi mo lang tatandaan, pag tapos na yung sleep niyo, dapat ang katawan gumagalaw. So maximum probably 8 to 10 hours, let's say 10 hours pag walang work, yung sleep mo. So the rest of the day, mapupuno mo 24 hours, gumagalaw ka. Whether naka-online class ka, naglalaba ka, nagluluto, nag-gardening, nagpa-plancha, whether you're a call center agent o hindi, dapat gumagalaw kayo every 30 minutes. Or at least we can burn some calories as well, no, doktora? Ako yes. pero doktora, sa first half pa lang yan ang pinag-uusapan natin, pero ang dami na nagad nating natutunan. And siyempre, looking at the brighter side of things, yun nga, ang dami natin natutunan, ang dami tayong maraming time, parang maraming tayong panahon para sa ating sarili. At siyempre, meron ng panahon ngayon para mag-exercise. It's very important, di ba, to stay in shape dahil nga po, you know, may mga banta sa ating nga kalusugan. Yan po yung mga rainy season diseases kasi siyempre, pumasok na nga yung tag-ulan and then yung COVID-19 pa po at iba pa pong mga sakit na dala na nga pagiging obeso. Kaya kahit simple yung overweight nga lang po, no? Ano-ano nga po ba yung mga panganib na dala na nga sobrang timbang sa ating kalusugan? Uh, yan, Doc Nap, di ba? Oo nga, doktore. Eh. Pero number one na number one dyan, yung ma... Siyempre, pag bumibigat tayo, alinsabay na dyan, minsan yung mga dumada... Kaya dumadami yung nagkakaroon ng diabetes sa uh, mellitus o yung tumataas yung blood sugar natin. At siyempre, yung iba nagkakaroon din ng mga hypertension o kaya sakit sa pulos. Okay, so itong tanong natin, dahil tayo ngayon nasa bahay lamang, no? Siyempre, ang hirap din, mag-mall, marami rin nakasarapan, no? Pero ano kaya po yung uh, existing na ng mga kasangkapan na meron tayo sa ating mga bahay, doktora, na pwede po kayang uh, maaaring magamit naman ng ating mga kasang bahay sa kanilang pag i ehersisyo Well, ako ang number one ko na sasabihin, hagdan. Oo, oh, hagdan. Kung lahat, kung sino man yung mga nakatira sa isang bahay na may hagdan, make use of it. Lalo na yung mga nasa apartment, nasa condominium, dapat kalahati lang nun ang elevator, the rest hagdan. Ayun na yun. That's it. Tapos napapaiksi pa. Pag gumamit ka ng stairs, hindi mo kailangan tumakbo. Just the normal pacing sa stairs. Kung mag-walking ka outside, ang walking mo, 40 or 1 hour, pag naghagdan ka, kailangan mo lang 20 minutes na tuloy-tuloy. That's it. Tapos ka na. Kasi pagpataas ka lalo, di ba, siyempre kasi you're exerting work po, no? Yes. Work effort, no? Yes. Ito, kasi ngayon, um, kung makita eh, yung mga water jug, ginagawa nilang dumbbells, ginagawa nilang pambuhan. That's right. Advisable po ba yung mga ganun? Yes. Po, eh? Kasi ako nga, ngayong in times of pandemic, sabi ko, ang priority natin is makapag-ipon tayo in times of sickness, di ba? at marami pa ibang bagay. So, para sa akin, you know, buying mga exercise equipments, for me, it's already a luxury. So, I do not actually recommend it to my patients if they ask me. Sabi ko, if you need to save money, then don't waste it on exercise equipments because you can just look around your house. Use those uh, bottled water. So, merong one liter. Kung magsa-starting ka pa lang, then use the 500, the 500 ml. Tapos, pag okay ka na, then use the 1 liter, and then pag magpo-progress ka, use the 1.5 liter. Pag malakas-lakas ka na, pwede po ba yun? Kung sa ano, ilang galon ba? 5 galons, galons na. Pwede <laughs> <laughs> oh, diba? ba? Oh. Napakadaming, you know, you just look around your house, especially in the kitchen, open your pantry, 
yung mga can, yung fruit, alam yung fruit cocktail, yung malaking can ng fruit cocktail, that's heavy already. So you can lift it like this, right? So like if this is like a fruit cocktail, you know, you can tone, you can tone your upper arm muscles. For those girls who are dreaming to be like Shakira Bat, J-Lo Buttocks, you can just really make use of the stairs. Do the stairs, you don't need to run as I told you. You just do it continuously, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. It's a total lower body workout and added to that, it's a cardio workout. Okay, from the stairs naman, kumuha ka ng stool. Mag up and down ka lang sa stool. Again, you will achieve a J-Lo bat or a Shakira buttocks or a Kardashian buttocks. And it's a total lower body workout. And then, ano pa ba yung magagamit mo? Squats. Ang squats ngayon, without any equipment, you can do squats. It's already a total lower body workout and it's also a cardio workout. I came across this exercise that it really works without holding any equipment. Yung mga range of motion lang, yung gagalaw ka lang ng ganun. You know, just repetitions. And then you can do push-ups for that. And then doon mo nagagamitin yung 500 ml ng bottled water, 1 liter to 1.5 liters that would uh, promote strengthening of your biceps, your triceps, your deltoids. So, ayan ang actually okay, pinakamadali eh. Yung, yung upper arm natin, pinakamadaling exercise yun. Eh, doktora, how about naman po yung gusto mga magpaliit ng chan? Kasi syempre, di ba, yung iba kasi magkakaiba ng mga issues, iba sa arms, iba na, pero ang karamihan ang gusto talaga dito sa chan, di ba? Paano ba yung uh, yan, no? <laughs> Tama ka dyan. I think for both sexes, male and female, they really prefer to have the flat abs. But for me, um, like your case, Dr. Sarah, to be able to uh, decrease your back pain, hindi, hindi importante yung flat abs eh. Ang importante, you develop the core muscle. You may four pack abs ka or kahit two pack abs lang. Sa lalaki, six pack abs. <laughs> hindi enough na flat yung stomach. Flat tummy doesn't mean na malakas yung strength ng abdominal muscles mo. Mali po yun. So maraming payat, marami siyang, maraming makikita ka nga very thin people, walang tummy pero they have a lot of back pain. Why? Walang strength yung core muscles nila. So, oh. you can do planking. And ito, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, see, I'm bouncing, right? Because I'm sitting on a stability ball. Just sitting on the stability mm-hmm. ball, it's already continuous isometrics, contraction ng muscles ko, ng core muscles and abdominal. So, without me doing it, just talking to you over Zoom, nagko-contract na yung muscles ko. So, nag exercise na ako. And then, added to that is the plank. Yung plank, wala kang kailangan equipment. Kailangan mo lang flat surface na hindi naman magaspang. You can just put a thick towel on top of the cement or the floor. Then you can do your plank exercises. So, napakaraman na, Dr. Ramile, no? so walang excuse kahit sino, no? Kasi kung gusto talaga, napakaraming ano, uh, da- ang dami pong pwedeng gawin. If there's okay? a will, there's so, a will. Yeah, so no, so I should be telling that to myself, you know. But anyways, doctor, I'm sure gusto mong malaman ng ng karamihan ilang beses nga po ba dapat sa isang linggo or uh, of course, ilang oras din naman po sa isang araw ba dapat uh, nag-e-exercise ang isang individual. So what is recommended for those of you who have already smart watches, if you've noticed, the target is 10,000 steps a day. That's just plain walking. But if you're talking about exercise, what is recommended internationally and um, approved by all kinds of doctors internationally especially for athletes and the sports it's 150 minutes a week so if you divide 150 minutes a week to five days then that would be 30 minutes for five days so 30 minutes every day times five days equals 150 minutes so just remember what is recommended for you to have the good effects, yung cardio effects, yung papayat ka, you will have tone muscles, you would have bone loading exercises, titiba yung buto mo, you have to achieve 150 minutes a week. Doctor, uh, yung minention yun na time duration po, uh, is that the minimum? I mean, would you recommend uh, individuals po subjecting to longer time of exercises po? Kasi ba yung iba parang, grabe, parang di mo alam kung ano yung goal nila talaga kasi parang, Minsan, three hours na sa gym. Is that, is, yes. that, is that still healthy po, doctora? It's not healthy, especially if you're not properly guided by a physician. That's the reason kung bakit magtataka kayo, triathlete, mamamatay. 
heart attack, cardiac failure. Di ba marami ng mga, uh, like mga football player, soccer player, mm-hmm. triathletes, di ba? They die. Di ba? Nagtatawag nilang um, na over-fatigue yung heart, cardiomyopathy in medicine, we call it cardiomyopathy, lumalaki yung muscles ng heart. Kasi you over-exercise. So I do not okay, so really recommend the long that, exercise. So anything in excess talaga is not ano, healthy, doctor. Yeah, anything in excess, that's correct. Anything in excess, not just in exercise, but also in food. But of course, yung binigay niyo pa rin naman na ano na yung average time of uh, parang of uh, devoting to exercises, you know. So yun pa ay, ay, mahalaga na rin, no? malaki na rin po yung contribution niyan para at least ma-keep natin na ang ating body ay really fit and healthy. Pero may criteria kasi yan eh. If you say 30 minutes ang exercise ka, yung exercise na tama dapat you're sweating, you're panting, mm-hmm. hinihingal, your heart rate increases. So if those criteria are met in 30 minutes, yeah. then well and good. Eh pero kung nag one hour ka nga, hindi ka naman pinawisan, hindi ka hinihingal. So what's the use of the exercise? So kailangan yung exercise, you meet the criteria na um, tumataas yung heart rate mo, pinapawisan ka, hinihingal ka. Pero not to the oh. point, ako ang gauge ko, I always tell my patients and the athletes that I treat, kailangan after a rigorous exercise, kaya mo pa rin magsalita kahit at least three sentences. Kasi kung hindi mo na kaya magsalita, you're overdoing it, that's very harmful to your heart. Okay, so yun pala yung mga signs na dapat bantayan. Ako po, personally, talaga na-convince nyo ako, Dr. Ramilin. I'm sure Dr. Napier and yung mga ating mga yes. viewers. But of course, I'm sure, kami naman ito, kami pong mga nakikinig sa inyo, Dr. Ah, paano naman kaya namin, ah, pwedeng, syempre gusto rin namin ma, ano, ma-invite or mahikayat yung aming mga mahal sa buhay. Of course, maging active din po and healthy, no? Pero, paano naman namin kaya gawin yun sa kanila? Ako kasama ako dito, Dr. Eh. Pero paano po ba masusustain yung pag ehersisyo o mahihikayat po yung mga taong uh, walang hilig po mag-exercise. <laughs> Ayan nga, di ba? Sabi nga nila, if there's a will, there's a way. Di ba? Napakahirap na yan. Although, minention mo kanina, Dr. Nap, di ba? Sa panahon ngayon, ako, I do believe in that. Lahat ng sakit, nag-uumpisa yan pag bumigat na yung timbang mo. Di ba? Yes. Kung ayaw mong gumastos sa doktor, ayaw mong gumastos sa ospital, ayaw mong gumastos sa gym, mag-physical therapy ka pa pag sumakit na yung mga katawan mo, then maintain an ideal body weight. And right now, tama yung sinabi nyo sa COVID-19, mauna niyang tinatarget yung mabigat ang timbang. So I think that alone, COVID-19, we scare these people who are really lazy, who are not convinced that they really need physical activity, those who are advocating sedentary lifestyle for the past two decades of their lives. I think the scare of COVID-19 alone should be enough to motivate them. Okay, so speaking of yun pong may mga sakit, no, paano naman po kaya yung mga maitutuloy yung safely yung mga prescribed exercises po para dun sa mga individuals with medical conditions naman po tulad ng mga, mga may heart problems? Kasi I'm sure very hirap, hirap po sila talaga magkaroon ng mga follow-up checkups gawa po ng ating uh, situation ngayon. For those with heart problems, especially yung mga nag-surgery na, na-bypass na, na ba, na-cabbage yung tawag nila, nagkaroon ng angioplasty or may symptoms talaga, hindi ko siyempre sinasuggest na pag tuwing nag exercise sila, dapat hinikingal. So, mm-hmm. ang, ang purpose na lang natin for those with cardiac problems is ma-maintain whatever is their physical status at the meantime. Lalo na kung wala silang regular follow-up with the cardiologist. So, at least walking. Walking is the best. Walang mangyayari sa'yo kahit na may heart problem ka if you just do walking. And then make sure na kaya mo pa rin puminga comfortably. And then those naman with yung na-stroke. Sa stroke, ang ayo natin yung magiging frozen na yung mga joints kasi hindi mo ginagalaw. Yung tinatawag natin frozen shoulder or maninigas na rin lang yung tuhod. Just simple range of motion movement. Yung knee flexion, knee extension. Let's say if this is the knee, simple ganyan lang. Maiiwasan na magkakaroon ng joint na magiging frozen. Yung mga frozen joint. Para siyang makina ng kotse, di ba? Kailangan mong i-warm up. Yeah. So you need to Ayan. warm up all your joints. Your shoulder, your wrist, your knee. Okay, so ito naman po. No? Ngayon naman po ay tayo ay tumungo sa ating segment na inaabangan ng ating mga viewers. Ang Doc, tama o mali? Okay, so 
Doc. Ito po ang mga naipon ng mga tanong ng ating mga kasangbahay na nais maliwanagan. So, ang sagot ni lamang po dito ay kung tama o mali. Nako, so, baka Doc mahirap Lynn. yan, ha? Talagang yes, yes or no lang. <laughs> Pwede naman natin expound ng kaunti. <laughs> okay, so Doc Milene, ready ka na po ba? Yes, game! Oh, okay, Fire let's away. do this! <laughs> okay, so ang stretching ba o warm-up exercises ng 5 to 15 minutes ay nakatutulong bago ang workout para maiwasan ang injuries sa muscles at tendons? Tama o mali? Definitely yes. Ayan, tama. Wala, no questions Ay, about it. Yes, yan. talaga yun. <laughs> warm up, di ba? Parang po sila niya. Kailangan may warm up yung makina. Mm-hmm. Dok, kailangan ba na ang workout sa isang araw ay isang oras o mahigit pa? Tama o mali? Pagkatulad ng diniscuss ko kanina, kung susobra ka naman na sa isang oras, you're gonna harm a lot of your body, your joints, your muscles, your tendons, your heart. Mali na yun. Pero kung hanggang one hour ka lang, tama pa rin. Tama so, laging lahat ng excess okay. mali. Okay? Lahat ng susobra. Oh, in moderation maganda. dapat. Yes. Everything Ayan. in moderation. Okay. 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 So, ito po, Doktora. Ang pagbigat ba ng isang tao ay nangangahulugan ng pagtaba niya? Tama o mali? Hindi lagi. <laughs> Tama ba yung sabi ko, di ba? Mali. Hindi lagi. So, mali. Okay. <laughs> kasi hindi lahat oh, kasi ng... Doktor. May iba fluids lang eh. Or may iba, nagde-develop ka na ng muscle mass. Hindi fats. So, Dok, ito, uh, hindi ko alam kung misconception ito eh, pero mas maraming pawis, mas maraming fats ang nawawala. Tama o mali? I believe in it. Yes. Lagi ko yan sinasabi sa mother ko. Ma, <laughs> kailangan pawisan ka para mo ma-burn yung so, fats dok, and calories. So, tama. Tama. Tama mo ang Mga kasama ba ang pag i ikaw ay may sakit tulad ng mga may simpleng ubo o may simpleng lagnat. Tama ba yun o mali? Nako, isang controversial controversial question na naman yan kasi may COVID, di ba, pag may ubo ka. <laughs> kung lagnat lang yan, okay lang naman na makapag-exercise ka pa. Pero kung may ubo ka na, mukhang mali na yun. Dahil lalo na kung sa labas ka pa mag-exercise, uubuhan mo yung mga ibang tao, medyo mali na yun. Okay. So ito, Doktora, ang pag-workout ay nakakagutom kaya kailangan ko kumain. Tama o mali? <laughs> Tama, pero may karugtong. Okay? Siyempre, nagugutom ka, but in moderation. Hindi yung lamon. Okay. Hindi lamon. Tamang kumain, pero hindi lamon. Hindi ako nanghihinayang kumain ng marami o mataas sa calories dahil binabawi ko naman ito sa pag-workout ko. Tama ba ba yan, Doktora? <laughs> Well, obviously, para sa akin, mali. Kasi hindi mo magiging yung end point mo. Ano ba yung goal mo? Kumain ng kumain at mag-exercise na mag-exercise. Wala kang goal. So, mali yun. Kailangan oh, gumawa ka ng goal. Ano ba talagang goal mo? Bakit ka nag-exercise? Parang tinamaan niya ako doon, Dok. <laughs> but anyways, ako <laughs> doon po, I'm in lane. Ako, we really had fun. Thank you very much po, ha. Oh, thank Talagang, you ah, for the opportunity ako. to share. Yeah, I'm sure, Dr. Knapp also, no? Yeah. Thank you very much for all your inputs here. No, I'm sure pati lahat ng ating mga viewers ay uh, nako nag-enjoy din po at napakarami pong natutunan sa inyo. Now po, uh, do you have any last words for our viewers po? Okay, so sa mga viewers ng Doctors on TV, again, ang sasabihin ko lang sa inyo, sa panahon ng pandemya, COVID-19 pandemya, hindi maganda na bumibigat ang timbang. Pag bumigat na ang timbang ninyo, ay garanti nyo, Lahat yan, lahat ng mga sakit mag-uumpisa na. And then, kung ang tanong ninyo is, kailan mag-uumpisa ng exercise? Anytime is the best time to exercise. Now, like after watching doctors on TV, you exercise. If there's a will, there's a way. Always move your body. Every 30 minutes, move your body at least 20 seconds. The only time that you will not move is when you're sleeping. After sleeping, dapat gumagalaw na yung katawan. And, katulad na sinasabi ni Dr. Snap and Dr. Sarah, do everything in moderation. Whether it's exercise, it's eating, do everything in moderation. So, exercise is medicine. And it's the only thing that's free. Tama? Exercise is medicine. And it's your fight against COVID-19 for free. Okay, very well said, Doctor. And lastly, baka pwede niyo, gusto niyo i-promote yung inyong FB page? My FB page, simply put, it's my name, Melaine Ong Chuan. That's my FB page. Ayan. Thank you very much again, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. 
Okay, and of course, Dr. Nap, uh, interior, baka may gusto kayong pasalamatan. It's reading time. And po, pinapasalamatan ko po again yung uh, UNTP and uh, Doctors on TV po for having me here. At syempre po, binabati po natin lahat ngayon, uh, aking mga kadistrito po dito sa Nueva Ecija. At syempre po sa aking pamilya, sa girlfriend ko po, si Fon Singh. At sa iba pa pong ating mga kaibigan at kasama, kasama po sa trabaho. Yun po lamang and uh, keep safe to everyone and keep a healthy life po. Yun po at uh, good day again to everyone. So there you have it mga kasangbahay. It's another episode of Health Education. We hope may marami po kayong natutunan sa pagsama niyo po ulit sa amin. Lagi lamang po kayong tumutok dito sa amin sa UNTV at maaari niyo rin pong bisitahin ang aming website, ang untvweb.com para po makita ninyo ang aming mga public service na ginagawa dito sa panguna po of course ni Kuya Daniel Rezon. And also please add me on FB Dr. Sara Barbaca Bodil and like our FB page Clinica Figura. You may contact us at 091 7-317-7272 And sorry, gusto ko lamang pong pasalamatan ang Bella's Comfort Food. Uh, you can contact them at 0917-512-1511 And really though, uh, 0908-909-6495 And of course, Organic Asai Berry and Mestiza Beauty Soap. Muli po, naku, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Dr. Sarah Barba Cabudil. Let's make it a habit to learn about good health only here at Doctors, Doctors on, on TV. TV.